hi guys welcome back to the channel so you seen bolt money and all the other investors who put their money in ssl they're still worried still wondering what happened to their funds and when they are going to get it back now it's all over the news and we are hearing other investors speaking out one such individual is a lady who said that she invested the money for retirement and she realized that the money keep on going down when she go there and she talk and they said okay just give it some time it seemed like they were trying to encourage her to tell her that the money is going to go back up and not only that she said the first red flag that she realized was the eye turnover in the company because every time it seemed like it is somebody different she said when she tried to call even the same advisor who would tell her to let her money stay when she tried to call that individuals nobody she couldn't get through to nobody so now she's left with millions of dollars missing and she don't know what is going to happen and she's feeling quite depressed over the entire situation because she could have pulled out her money from she realized what was going on but because she trusted these individuals so much she let her money remain and people you see when i'm reading the story in the paper one case came to mind and it is the movado case with his 30 million with masado is the lawyer and until today's date movado don't know what happened with his 30 million he don't know when he might go get it back you know nothing him not know so that was one case and when i think of the usain bolt situation this gentleman who worked so hard for jamaica and what happened i have to wonder what can happen to any of us here in jamaica with our liquor shilling in the bank account because if them willing you know and brave and bad if he scam the big you see in bold you know them not put nobody past they will do it to anybody no people there is a story in the paper linked to this also and it is from a doctor his name is dr Jermaine spencer and he's saying basically he reject social media allegation that is associated with stocks and securities limited in a statement he said he was never a shareholder director or officer of ssl and has never received any benefits or otherwise from the company he came out with that statement because his picture and names along with several other directors managers of the company pictures were posted on social media they are saying that a number of them they're getting threat and all of that and their family is also getting threat people I know that we are all invested in this story, but we have to be careful what we post out there. And you see, this gentleman, when I read the story, if he wants, he can go and sue those bloggers if they don't take down the video or anything. He can go and he can do that because they post not only his picture, his name and everything. And here now, this gentleman is saying that he hasn't, never been associated with this company in any way or form so we have to be careful what we post i know the story is hot and everybody is on it but while you're going to be on a story be careful not all the information that you're getting is from credible source some very very good information because when you listen to some of them you know you have to say mighty god one such is the story behind what the lady said when her parent who got ill and she needed the money you realize that the parent really and truly all if the person gets sick they don't need no money because they had their purse they had their insurance their money that they could fall on and you have to wonder what else that this lady said is not true because when you're looking at she list a number of individuals and say those are the people whose money she touch but who to tell maybe she leave in one and two names off we don't know the next thing also this lady i saw a picture of her quite beautiful and everything now 
that was when she was doing the wrong. Now I saw something and this is a lady now who is in wheelchair using a walker. What they said is that she's having some health issues and that is the reason why she's using the walker. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, so why all of a sudden the health issues start when people find out what you're doing? Why they didn't start when you were doing the wrong? What, you never expect to get caught? So when you get caught, no, it shock you so much that it make you develop some synth some sickness or something. But I don't know. Maybe it's because I am cold when it comes on to situation like these. Me not sorry for her. I just hope that they are able to get as much asset from her that some people can get back their money. And when you're looking up at the neighborhood that she live in, the vehicle. And everything ladies men please if you know you're earning a certain amount and you cannot afford certain lifestyle leave it alone because you see the neighborhood that she live in you see the vehicle that she was driving and a little pla pla money for those so you realize that maybe what happened is that her salary couldn't maintain her lavish lifestyle so she went ahead now and started to pick here and there but people if you know that you can only afford a white rice work with your white rice no matter try if it go up to your chinese your sushi and all of them something there and when you look at these ladies who are doing the wrong, that is what is causing it. A lot of them put their at where they can't reach it. So they have to go now and try to do illegal activities to maintain it. So please, if you know you can't afford a certain lifestyle, leave it alone. Now, you see in bold, he gave them 10 days to recover the money. And you have to wonder... 10 days, not now going to come out of it. Because even the finance minister, he came out, he's saying how he's disgust and how he's surprised and shocked to realize that it is happening or it happened to you saying bold. So even him can't phantom what happened. He find it hard to believe. The prime minister, he, no one then you hear one lick, but come on. They don't know what happened. Maybe them I sit and I wonder. But I hope that they now understand that it is their responsibility to ensure that this gentleman and all the investors get back their money by any means, even if it means that the government is going to have to stand. Because when you look at it, the Financial Service Commission, they were at fault, and that is a government entity. They came and they said they were doing their press conference, which was a total disrespect to the Jamaican population. Thanks be to God, they forced that gentleman to resign. So you have to wonder, really,